okay, on today's list of things that may screw us over horribly and make me rage quit this entire series and probably delete my YouTube channel is this. This dragon has been flying by my base all freaking morning. But he's not my biggest of concerns. He, he is actually my biggest of concerns. Him and like prostate cancer. There was a freaking amazing giga down the beach right when I logged off and I was hoping... Oh, wait, I saw that outline for a second. I think there it is, dude. There it freaking is. Giga no so to to X1230 level. It's a beast, dude. It's got 100,000 health and only 200,000 corpora. That's actually a crap ton. Is that actually doable for me? I don't actually know. It might be. It might not. I can't remember how many darts, I mean, how much torpor these darts do. I guess I'll just figure out right now. See, that instantly did a 2,000 torpor right there. I feel like mathematically I have enough. The only way things could go wrong is if I miss or it runs away or stuff like that. But I don't know, dude. It seems worth going for. That thing seems incredible. I don't fully understand this X species of dinosaur around here, but clearly it's what we got to be working for. Alpha raptors and shit. What was I doing with my life? Clearly that is the answer to what we got to be doing. Also, I gotta fix my arc settings. It keeps it keeps freaking getting a little buggy. It's weird. It's weird that it does that. It's like lagging for half a second. I have no explanation for that. This is literally a $5,000 computer. This is a 4090 graphics card, dude. This is a $2,000 graphics card. I gotta figure out why the crap it's doing a little bit of lag sometimes when I do a little twoopty whoop. Look how glorious that thing looks over there. I'll bet its torpor goes back almost instantly. I'll bet when you stop shooting at it, it goes back to like zero torpor so freaking fast. I just know I'm going to be crying by the end of this episode, but it's worth it. I feel like potentially there's something I should be using specifically, some sort of creature that tames something that once you bite it, they just get like 50,000 torpor instantly. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? But... I don't have something like that, and I don't know, don't even know which of those exist, so that's so freaking irrelevant to me. I'm just gonna go in there like an absolute warrior and hope for the best. He's already at the bottom of the staircase, but no, it's a horrible start. He's so quick, dude. He just boogied down the freaking... I was so... Now he's, he's, he's got a mind of his own. I'm gonna shoot him, and he's gonna come sprinting over here. It's such incredible freaking... He's bleeding. What's going on over there? He's moving so incredibly fast. He's so unpredictable in his magnificence. It looks like a clear shot. Yeah, then he moves. Darts take like a minute to get all the way over there, I feel like. Is the issue. Okay, see, that was a hit. It only did a thousand torpor, which means I might definitely need a lot more freaking darts for this. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, his torpor went back almost instantly too. Okay, we don't want to just waste all our whole supplies on this right here. We want to make sure we beat this as beautifully as possible. I'm going to go ahead and call in our Scorpius Rex buddy. I don't have a name suggestion for him yet because I just recorded the last episode like a couple hours ago. So naming stuff definitely gets difficult in Dino Overhaul X because everything dies so freaking fast that it's so hard to get a good name. Damn it. It's hard to get a good name suggestion out before, uh, before catastrophic things take place. Like, this Scorpius Rex might die in the next five seconds. I don't, I don't know, but I'm gonna, I still gotta, how the crap did that just happen? All right, so the Scorpius is all we currently have right now. So we're going to utilize the crap out of this thing. I am worried bringing it into a Dino Overhaul X world where everything's freaking crazy, but like, I don't know, you just gotta hope for the best. Dude, look, the, the freaking tail spikes did more torpor than one of my darts. That is beautifully useful right there. Wow, that went down so freaking smooth. I'm still gonna kill it because I'm just like that. I'm cool like that. I need the levels and stuff. But that is a nifty thing to uphold right there. The fact that that did that much torpor is very freaking useful. I feel like I should use it on the Giga, but I feel like, I don't know, there's so much at risk, you know? I need to get me a damn health potion or this thing's going to inevitably die. It's fine. It's just a tool. A tool used to get ourselves farther. I forgot. I need some food. We have to cook food generally. I live in giant food. I don't think about food. It's so stupid. I literally never make food in this series because everything's turned down so much to the point that like I usually die before I get hungry. But of course, the one time I don't have any cooked food, I'm starving the whole freaking beginning of the episode. It's just the universe, man. Holy crap. Look how freaky this thing looks when it swims. What in the hell is that? <laughs> what in the crap? That is so freaky, dude. That makes me so uncomfortable. Such an uncomfortable looking monster. Everything about it just disturbs the crap out of me. I don't know what I was thinking. Going to the water like that. I just had to see how weird it looked. Yeah, healing it this way is going to take forever. This isn't vanilla. Like, it's, it's, that's why health potions exist in these crazy mods. Because these creatures have such insane amounts of health that healing it with food would take decades. 
Although I've legit seen like Syntac and them sit there for half an hour healing their dinosaurs in modern series like that because it's the logical smart thing to do. But my ADD, my ADD, yeah, would simply never allow such a thing to happen. Oh God! I forgot our roar damage and stuff. It's freaking constantly inflicting damage on these turns right now. That's beautiful. I'm just trying to kill everything I can for whatever levels I can squeeze out of this cold, dark world. Look at these nerds all in a big fight. Stand back here and be awesome. I already killed a raptor in the... This is actually the greatest way to gather levels. Except those aloes are insanely high level. What the hell? Hang on. Oh, we can kill it. It's no issue here. It only has 3,000 health. It looks so much scarier at first. Does it still do a lot of damage? It's gonna add up eventually. It's gonna add up like freaking crazy, dude. All my spikes missed that raptor. Maybe I should knock out this raptor. No, he's not even a special one. He's just a loser. Where's he running to? I think my roar could finish him. That's not the roar, that's the pounce. What a hell of a pounce it is though. Dude, legs spread and everything. Just, just graciously. You little shit. Okay, once that health goes below 20,000, I'm gonna become a whole nother kind of concern. Which it basically already is. We need another herbivore is what we need. I can just make my own army of freaking darts if I just had a herbivore to get me berries. Which I lost when I lost everything. So that's the Apex Raptor. Interesting. I guess they are weak as hell, though. Just because it's an Apex doesn't mean it's some godly thing. Look how quick that thing's almost dying. Our Scorpius beats Apex Raptors. Yeah, run for your life, little man. Or should we just finish him off with the roar? Yeah, we can. All right, just gathering everything we possibly should. There's a Brachy over there, but it's right next to a freaking Hyenaton. And it's Tox. So it could be like an apex hyena daughter. Oh, there's one right here. Thank God. It, it's a freaking day and oh, di, di, hyena daughter, day and daughter. Obviously, you idiot. Well, it's a day and on prime wild. It's not even tameable, and it'll vaporize the shit out of us if we go anywhere close to it. So this one shall suffice beautifully. Oh, it's already almost asleep. I love these little. Oh my God, there's a bunch of freaking day over there. Or did it just summon in its own little army? I think it summoned its own little army. I'm so happy I'm not across the water right now. Or, yeah, there's the minions. The min- Shit! Oh my god. <laughs> there's a bunch of demonic freaking zombie sheep coming at me right now, dude. They're just all aggro on me. I didn't do anything to any of them. Just gathering some berries real quick. Need to get me a freaking herbivore, man. Need to do what I gotta do. I think we're safe up here. I went slightly up the beach and they forgot about my existence entirely. That's what I'm talking about. If there's one thing my parental abandonment issues have taught me, it's that I'm very easy to forget about. So that worked. Ooh, Text Strider, not tameable. You know what's crazy is I've never actually tamed a Text Strider. I, I, I wasn't that, I didn't like Genesis 2 that much. I like dinosaurs and they're like, yeah, there's a bunch of robots and stuff. And they're amazing robots, don't get me wrong. That thing looks cool as hell. But I just wanted freaking dinosaurs, so I never ended up taming one. So now I'm just walking around existing, not knowing how to tame one of those things because it's been far too late. You can't just tame one now. Like, you can't learn how to tame one now. This far into Ark Survival Evolves. So what the hell is that? Shit, it's a knife eater! The more freaking terrifying. Oh, wait. What if I freaking tame it with my tail attacks? I don't know, dude. It's a freaking knife eater. That's like the only other monster out of Camp Cretaceous I fear more than the Scorpius Rex. Which, as a Scorpius Rex, that's a huge issue in my life right now. I kind of want to go park this thing at home and try and tame that night feeder. There's like mutton right here. It's all coming together like butt cheeks. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear it roaring on the other side of the wall. Monsters, dude. Absolute monsters exist in this world. The sheep is infinite. Jesus. You guys ever hear that joke of why Scottish people wear kilts? Because a sheep could hear a zipper from a mile away. My best friend ever lives in Scotland. He's like Scottish. He's lived there his whole life. And he told me that joke, not realizing I'm going to use that against every Scottish person I ever meet. Uh-oh. 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 Everything's frozen and I can't bite down. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Come on, Ark. You can do it. You can do it, Ark. Don't explode. Come on. You can do it. Don't explode. Come on. It's so gonna explode. It's gonna do it. I can't even dismount right now. This is catastrophic. And there's the crash. Who could have predicted such a thing? 
Well, after 25 minutes of trying to get the server back up, we're finally back. That was, that was super awesome. I wonder what changed. What was it? What was the issue? Did anything even change at all? The dinosaurs are still here. So what the crap just happened? Oh, son of a bitch! Now there's a prime wild bee buzzing around my face. That thing is gonna cause so many issues. Oh my god, anything prime wild just summons minions and armies and does infinite damage. <sighs> Dude, it's my vegetables. It's my fruit house. That's what's drawing bees over. Oh my god, that tiny little thing is going- It's not even that small. It's like the size of me. It's going to be such a freaking issue <laughs> in my life. I was gonna leave my Scorpius up here to protect it from the outside issues, but now I don't even- But I- I ah, Damn it! I know I'm gonna freaking mismatch my crowd pods and throw them out and he's gonna go to sleep. I do that every goddamn time. Okay, what are the odds the bee comes up here? Probably super nothing. Oh no, he's getting closer and closer. It's docs. It's Dino Overhaul X. They're gonna pull something. Or he might just not come up here at all. I don't know. Oh, the little bastard's gonna come up here. It's ended up at close there's that dragon flying around. The sky is not safe. Usually the sky is much safer in Arc Survival Evolved than the ground, but not, not around these parts, dude. It's ghetto as hell. Damn it! For, for real? I fell on the ground. I was getting ready to teach a lesson. I was gonna say, oh, what, what are these grapple hook schematics, Johnny? This is why you're falling on your ass, you idiot. I was gonna say, if anyone wants to fix their arc issue, I figured out why I was lagging. It's a weird issue I've never actually dealt with before, which is, it doesn't make sense because I've been posting arc for so freaking long. Is this down here in the command prompt? Down here in the bottom left corner, I do T dot max FPS 60. And then it keeps the game at 60 FPS from lagging or anything, which again, doesn't make sense. This game's like seven years old. This computer's a freaking week old. It's over $5,000. It should be able to do anything ARC requires, but whatever. I'm not gonna question it. I just wanna make videos. We're on the brink of freaking World War III and the economies and shambles and everyone's eating each other. Or maybe not yet, but give it a couple months. So this, I, just, I don't know. Nothing seems as important to me anymore. I just want everyone to know, all my fellow Americans and fellow Earthlings in these trying times where people are borderline starving and starting to rip each other apart, I will eat you all first! This was not a call to action to be friends and fa- I will eat you all first, okay? I just wanted that out there. Y'all think I've been stockpiling weapons for years and working out every day and all this crazy crap for fun? I've been preparing for this. I am going to eat and- You know what, Charlie? Don't give away your master plan just yet. I think- I think you just did, buddy. Okay, the dude is gone. He's not on the list. I don't know what the crap happened to him. He was definitely the one causing the issue, though. It might not be him, though. It might just be mod, like, incompatibility. He was attacking something that he is not compatible with, but that makes sense. He's gone, and the world's not crashing anymore. That's not a coincidence. Now, what the crap was I doing before that happened? I want that Giga so damn bad. Wow, Titans. Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me. There's so much going on. Okay, back to getting a herbivore. We can get that Giga. We just need to get a little bit more darts. By a little bit more darts, I made a shit ton more darts. I'm so worried it's gonna walk into the swamp though. And some spider that one shots everything without any effort is gonna just destroy it. But at least I know that Giga exists. There's like cool stuff to be working towards. It's not just all apexes and alphas and primes and stuff. All right, time to tame us some herbivores. I could just throw a couple grenades over there. It would work so beautifully. Maybe I'll just do that. I kind of want to save him for the Giga, but like, oh god, oh god. Oh, I heard feet. It was just those guys over there. I guess I only have a couple darts on me or a couple grenades on me anyways. It's so wasteful. Ah, we could be so professional about this. Might as well. I can do it without alarming any of the dinosaurs in the vicinity. How'd you go to sleep, you idiot? I wasn't even aiming for you. That's ridiculous. Freaking lightweight. How long is that grenade gonna last? Is it gonna get it all the way to knock down? It is! That's so fantastic. I guess that's the better way to go about it. Probably just saved my ass like 30 minutes right there. I'm just like fighting stuff. Let's go ahead and hit this guy with a metabolism dart to make him get hungry a whole lot faster. How the crap did you already wake up? That's the fastest I've ever seen something fall asleep and wake up before. Like ever. I hope that freaking Bronto doesn't do it. It might do it. It might actually do it. It's going to be on the brink. So let's just go ahead and keep him asleep. Should I stop, stop, stop it. I hate when crap follows me. You're not even a dox one. So oh, God. God, that roar does so much damage. And it keeps them at bay, too. They can't even charge me while I'm roaring. It's legit. Super legit. All right, that thing's tamed. Nice. Let's just kill this T-Rex. And let's go get us a Bracky saddle. Bronto saddle. I don't even really want to bring that thing back to base. Gather rates are so high around here. We could just use it once. 
and then just leave it. Just get like 10,000 freaking parries from it. This Rex is almost level one or 99 or 900. But it's nothing special. It's just a T-Rex, you know? Like there's not even an X. Well, it's literally the X and T-Rex, but there's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like the Giga. It has no special attributes. It seems freaking small. I don't remember T-Rexes being this small. I feel like they used to be way bigger. I don't know what happened. I was already almost asleep though. I could just freaking tame him if I want to. Well, don't just let yourself get hit, you idiot. Just kind of hoping he'd run away once his torpor gets low. There he goes. Now he's doing it. This is getting so sloppy right now. But like, I keep trying to get the tail thing and it's not as exact as I want it to be. I wonder if we should tame him. I mean, what? No, he's got like no health though. If you're gonna tame him, you should have decided to do that before you almost killed him. But I, I don't even want him. I just feel like it'd be kind of useful to have like a, uh, like little soldiers planted throughout the woods in case I ever get in any sort of trouble with that kind of thing. Just last minute random backup sorta. Okay, you guys will see something crazy. I tamed off camera in between recordings. I just saw it. It was a mod I added. It's completely useless. The dumbest thing you can possibly think of. It's actually, it's, it's really stupid. Like just, uh, <laughs> but, but also at the same time, there's like a hint of genius to it. It's like genius enough to need to be added where at the same time, it's also freaking absolutely ridiculous. There's no way to really describe it necessarily until you see it in five seconds. And then you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to descend down there. And once we get down there, your perception of raptors is going to change forever. You're going to look at them as much sexier as you did before. Maybe not. Hopefully not. You better not. Okay, here we have the Thick Raptor. A new mod that's recently been added to the workshop. Basically a vanilla raptor. No change in stats whatsoever. It's it's pretty, pretty standard. The only difference is it's giant voluptuous ass. Look at this. Look at this thing right here. It's a new wave of dinosaurs. A dinosaurs like you've never seen them before. Unless you're in really weird ass rule 34 like forums. Still does need a saddle. It's not rideable yet. So I haven't put a saddle on it because I didn't think I was going to leave base with it. I don't even think it could hold me. It's got like barely any weight encumbrance. It's just freaking a giant voluptuous thick ass raptor. And it literally, it's like, it, it's proportionate. It's not one of those just like fake butt surgeries where it gets bone skinny legs after a giant ass. It just looks ridiculous. This chick's got it going on, bro. From freaking ankles, calves all the way up. That's a natural giant booty right there. The best kind. If you don't like giant butts, there's something wrong with you. I don't mean to kink shame or anything, but shame. However, giant butts on a dinosaur. I do not blame you if you don't like that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? It's that it's it's the, the internet's already a weird enough place without sexualized dinosaurs. But I hate to break it to you, man, but that's been happening for a long freaking time. At least finally, the sexualized dinosaurs have some nice asses. Usually, it's just weirdos sexualizing dinosaurs. I got. Regular old dinosaur butts. This is, this is way weirder to me. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. I thought this was land of the free. You know what I'm saying? I did not realize there's a Hesperonis right here. Are there any others? I could use that poly if they're just going to be popping up around this place. I didn't realize they spawn here. I guess they actually do pretty easily, obviously, right in my face. It's You know what my issue is? I don't know what Hesperonis are. I always look at they're kind of like penguin, penguin-ish. So I always just thought they were always only in the Arctic. But... I see now. See, this is what I'm talking about. Just just a bunch of tame dinosaurs everywhere we go. We'll add so many senses of security around here. It's going to be awesome. My only concern is once I freaking use this Bronto tail, everything's going to aggro on me. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill this thing first before that happens. I, I am kidding. No, no, no. We'll survive just fine. It'll actually went to sleep freaking easy as crap. Holy Jesus. All right, I was kind of hoping we'd get a lot more bears than that. that. I guess we're not really next to any bushes. The gather range is so freaking high, though. It shouldn't... I don't know. I guess we could keep the Bronto alive. It just seems wasteful. I guess I could just take up a cryopod. I don't think I like Brontos very much. But you know what it is? Is My headphones are so loud. Every time I walk, they hurt my ears so much. They take up so much damn space. They're so slow. I guess none of that's their fault, though. I'm just being judgmental. But, like... I don't know. There seem to be so much more trouble than they are easy. Like, they're so easy to tame. It's like, why why not just kill it and then get a new one every time you need a new one? We get a good amount each, but small shit of pygmies nearby. That'll make things very interesting. Oh, there it is. The little pygmy bastard right in front of us. Tiny little schmoopums right there. He's almost dead already. 
I can't remember if pygmies drop something, but I feel like they've got to, right? It's like, why would they not drop something? There's such, oh crap, that doe right there is a freaking prime. That guy right there, yeah, freaking prime wild. He's only have 100,000, oh, there's another freaking pygmy right there. They don't have a lot of health, the primes. Like it's, they're, they're very killable. You just gotta be super agile with it and quick with it. I don't think I have anything quick enough to generally avoid their nonsense though right now. But it seems extremely doable, especially in Doha. It doesn't seem any, like intimidating at all. You know what I'm saying? Oh God, what's going on down there? What did I piss off? Oh, it's that freaking mantis. Can I kill it? I've aggroed the freaking Doha. Oh shit. Oh shit! I should have known that was coming. And the second the doe had winded its tail up and its its tail got comically big right before it hit us, I knew I was in so much freaking trouble. I knew that sucker was going to die. It was always gonna happen. I just wanted to get a couple thousand parries off it. Maybe that's what it is. Everything dies so fast that something huge I'll never feel attached to. The little freaking agile stuff that Oh shit, my Scorpius Rex is still out there. Oh my god. But yeah, the little fast agile stuff dies really quick. So a big slow thing. No, we're not. We're going to start treating them like dirt just to save time. We got to beat this freaking series before arc deletes like or before wildcard deletes arc. You know what I'm saying? There's no time to worry about losers anymore. And the, oh, God. Wow, that happened quick. I was just starting to speak. <laughs> I was going to say, and this is why we tame wild T-Rexes. I thought it was gonna save me that raptor freaking one-shotted me. Okay, do we go for the Giga? Do we just try and do it? It's, it's, it's clearly the freaking manly option here. Like we have the Scorpius Rex, which has infinite tail spikes. They do take a while to recharge, but infinite tail spikes that do more torpor than a freaking darts. It seems like the universe is lining it up for us so that the freaking Scorpius Rex can just handle this nonsense. We don't even need to bring darts into it until it starts to run away for the most parts. It seems that that's how the world's working out. So I think we should go ahead and like, we have this aerial advantage point. The Giga can't get up to us. I don't, unless it's got some secret ability, I don't know about it. I don't necessarily see how this could backfire. Like right there on the staircase, you know what I'm saying? How's he going to, oh crap. What's he gonna do? I guess we still gotta freaking draw him over here though. Dude, the Giga could just take five steps up this thing and then one shot my Scorpius Rex. There's clearly a, and we can't really shoot down with this. It's more of a straightaway, like, could we shoot down? Wrong button, you jackass. But if I like aim it downwards. Right now? Ooh, they do shoot down. Oh my God, it's a total plot twist. That changes everything. Hang on, okay, all right. But the Giga just has to walk up here casually, you know? There's so much that can go wrong, but so much that can go right. Ooh, he's getting closer. Trying to aggro him with my freaking metabolism darts, but he doesn't seem very offended by him. Perhaps we have to use actual poor poor darts to piss him off enough. Or he's just so enraged, he's gonna keep eating whatever's closest to him. Yeah, he doesn't even care. That one didn't even do a thousand toy part. That's just upsetting. How dare you do that to me? Yeah, he's too freaking blood up. He's in enrage mode. He's in like permanent enrage mode. So he's not gonna... He still might make... Yeah, he's making his way over here. That's nice. Very freaking quick and scary too. But he's in rage. He's just gonna keep eating whatever's closest to him. What a waste of a dart. Look how close he is though. He's never been so close. Why are you missing these shots? He's so freaking close. All right, let's go ahead and just try and keep his interest. I don't, I don't have his interest at all though is the thing. Is the issue. Whoops, wrong one. Hang on. Yeah, see, these darts ain't doing nothing. He doesn't even notice we exist right now. His torpor is already packed to zero. It's freaking, I knew it, I knew it would be. It just, it's just how these guys work. All right, he's super, I'm, I'm so intimidated by this. It's such a bad idea. I can't believe I got him right there. Come on, dude. Aggro onto me, get red, get a red outline and head on over here. Like, do, do what you should be doing. If I go down there with my Scorpius, he's gonna freaking one shot us both. It's so obvious. This is such a waste of darts, I agree, but I just got a bunch of narco berries. I can make more. The point right now is we gotta draw his ass closer if we can. If it's at all possible. Otherwise, we need to wait till we have a larger creature that could do poor poor. 
which I obviously don't have right now. It would need to be something big, dude. Like, I don't even know which creature. Perhaps like an Argent? Oh, it's running down the beach. It doesn't help that the Scorpius Rex is slow as hell, too. So, oh my God. Like, if it started coming up those stairs, that's the end of us right there. I don't know any way to avoid that. Oh, no. The spike spread out so much by the time they get that far. Could he even fit into my area? He probably can. Knowing this game, he can fit into my area, and he's gonna... We gotta be very careful about this. This is our new founding civilization. We could actually still make a bunch of these. Luckily, we still, I, that's actually very stupid on my part. We can actually still make a bunch of them. What the crap am I doing? Like, trying, oh, that's so dumb, Johnny. At least we have the bears if we need it. I didn't actually check like stuff I brought over from our old base. That last video was so freaking long ago, dude. I just assumed. Okay, well, we definitely have more than we currently need. So risky though. So stinking, you know, Johnny. Life is about risk, you bitch. Get out there. All right, you big booty monster. It's up to you to freaking get us there quick enough and to get us back with enough speed to get this thing done. Look at the voluptuous handles on this thing. Okay, this. This, it was always meant to go down this way. I wanted to ignore it. I wanted to ignore where our fate was going, but this is always where it was going to end up. Luckily, this thing's giant ass shall float us across safely. I hate to body shame this thing. Who's this body shame because it's calling it a giant ass though? Maybe I'm glorifying it. If you interpret giant ass as a bad thing, maybe you're the body shamer. Look at this thing. We're going to die. Oh my God. This is why no one rides Nicki Minaj into battle. This and probably, probably several other factors. All right, well, if he doesn't aggro us on, on us immediately, that should make things very... Oh, shit! Copies! Copies are just the worst. I'm too thick to outrun them. What level are... Oh, oh God. Oh, Lord. Ah! Oh, thank God that thing just forgets about everyone so instantly. All right, now we shoot it. What happened? What happened? What? A oh, freak out. Oh, he just took one dart. Okay, I thought I took a stack of 100 gonna say that's absolutely insane where'd he go what's going on here there's a lot to a lot to digest all right copy's gonna die level 1000 copy it's an issue i can't deal with this crap anymore one of us has to go and i have the thicker ass so it's gonna be you now where did that giga get off to you know there's a good chance oh god ah! run move parasaur you bitch <laughs> I'm so sorry that it came down to this raptor. It can't seem to catch us yet, though. Is it your giant voluptuous booty cheeks? Is that what's keeping us alive right now? I feel like it is. Like it's unable to bite down onto them. He can't get his mouth around him. Poor son of a bitch. This is freaking hopeless. Let's just go ahead and just be thankful our raptor's still alive and get the crap out of here. This dude cannot be tamed by running around with darts because he, he is freaking too big and fast. He takes five steps and he's gone. <laughs> And more importantly, he just doesn't aggro on you. He just does not do it. He just stays in freaking enraged the whole time. There's no chance. Out of my way, you skinny bitches. All right, so that was a fail. That did not go down the way it was supposed to. But I don't know, dude. Every day is a lesson, okay? This is how you freaking probe and find out exactly what creatures require. I was hoping I could at least get him to stay aggro on me, but there's just no chance of that. He's just got his own adventures, and we need something that could tame. That's fine. That's understandable. Well, we've got all the freaking darts we possibly could use for anything, so next, next episode's going to be a giant taming episode. This episode was a giant ass episode. Leave a like on the video and subscribe for the next episode, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>